Hello, this is Troy Kostasik for Explorminate, bringing you a sneak peek of the Giants DLC for Thea the Awakening. Uh, it's not out yet, but I'm going ahead and making these Let's Play videos, so that way when it does come out, you can kind of get a feel for the ropes. The game is going to be much more difficult than you remember. We're already on episode 7. It seems like it's gone by very quickly. I am collecting Moonstone there in the north and making some extra equipment back at my village in the south. I recently picked up a new medic, which is always a nice treat, but he unfortunately can't carry squat, so that's gonna be it for him. All right, let's check on our group up here and see how they're doing as far as their weight allowance goes. Well, we got about 500 units left, and I think that'll be about it for them. We're starting to run a little low on food, so I might reassign one of my gatherers here. See if that can help alleviate that problem. Hmm, they run really low. Okay, that should fill them back up for a little bit. Oh, and they're getting low on wood, too. Yep. It's a game within a game. Trying to keep your guys fed and warm and useful. All right. You see fresh boar tracks. It looks like a large pack. Boar tracks. You come across the pack and you're able to ambush them. Let's do it. Boars can be really tough. They've got the hammer ability. So that means they do trample damage, which means extra damage carries over from character to character. And they are nasty. Ah, oh, it made me discard one. Jerk. Uh, let's see. Let's confuse him. All right. And let's support this ally. All right, let's see what happens. All right, that's good. Excellent. Now, this guy's gonna get a hit on somebody. Good, I'm glad it's him. All right, do they get to go first? No, I do. Good. Then he gets to play. He's got... Oh, man. Alright, well. Just do this real quick. And finish the fight. There we go. Boom. Probably get some meat out of this. Which you have defeated need. the ball pack. Good. And some extra leathers, which I don't really need. And bones, which I, I don't really like at all. I don't think they're very good. Okay, they are now encumbered. So let's dump some of this junk we don't need. Get rid of it a little bit more. We'll get rid of this quartz. It's no good. There, we're underweight. We got 185 moonstone, which is a 
fantastic amount. I got 18 turns worth of food, so I am set to go back to my village. So that's what we're going to do. That was a very successful trip. Now I'm sure I'll have a couple of encounters along the way. As you travel along like the this. plains, you feel the air growing colder. Frost appears on plants and you can see your uh. breath. You the group comes closer and stops. Uh. One of the hooded figures steps okay. up. But you see a young girl standing proudly behind him. You hear her. The hooded man winces, or at least it feels as if he did. But clearly the girl was not listening to you, so he continues speaking in a low voice. Listen, I think you this seem is like the good icy folks. Princess quest, HR reaches I'm really gonna skip well. the story because we've short, done this In short, the little time. wretch was a cursed evil. The guard was about to answer, I didn't wanna but start Susanna fight cut there. him off. I am bored now. I have graciously indulged. I detect a note okay. of defiance. Think so. what you will. And I think, yeah. So if we want to do the Icy Princess quest, it's going to be down here. Now, you should be familiar with that if you are from, if you played Thea. And if you haven't, well, I don't know if I really want to spoil it for you anyway. It's a good quest. I like it. So we will probably get down there and do that soon. Uh, the rewards for it are pretty good. They're pretty good. Uh, I might hit this smithy thing while we're out here get that quest started because the rewards for it are pretty nice as well so yeah let's go talk to the smithy hidden away in a quiet alcove okay we're gonna approach as this you house approach, the hammering stops not and to a dwarf, fight the dwarf. hey your village hi well truth be told i move around me and i don't and, like trusting uh, a few, ah, he's well, got a female kind problem of embarrassing. He wants this, this is a girl serious to go matter, out mind you. She can get a bit nasty if you're not careful. And, she's and I've been demon. trying for decades now. Excellent. You know, and he's willing he to overlook that. Area. And so he marks on our map where she is. And like all the quests are in the same spot. That can happen on a small map. When I, I'm playing on a small map. So when you get on a small map, things get really clustered together. That's fine. All right. Now. Let's just dump everybody back into the village and then reassign groups. All right. I want to take my good medic. And he's getting my best gatherer, so I'm going to take him. I definitely want to take the hunter. I'm going to want a couple fighters. I like her. I can probably take her and be all right. I don't want to take the scavenger. Should we take? Oh, why is Kazik using this thing? There, that's much better. All right, and we'll take Kazik. Oops, we'll take him with us. All right. Let's grab some food. I don't know. 41 turns worth, that's not bad. Pack some extra wood. All right. And... Let's go ahead and do some of these quests. All right. Meanwhile, my guys are going to get to work crafting. Now we can make some really awesome swords. And we're not just going to make swords. We're going to make buildings, too. I'll put everybody on that and I'm gonna make probably five of those and then we'll use oh I've got two research points I didn't realize I did 
Okay, we're gonna research the well. And, you know what, we're gonna research the smithy. And I'm going to cancel. I'm gonna cancel this. And I'm gonna put them on building this stuff. Because I'm gonna attract more people. Uh, wish I had more spider silk. Oh well. I'm gonna attract more people that way. And um, I'm going to gain three resources a turn. So that's pretty good. And then I'll build a smithy out of moonstone as well. Five crafting bonus to all my crafters. And three chances to attack the human. So, very good. That'll take them a long time to do. <laughs> a very long time to do. All right. Gathering. All right. Actually, I think I'll do it like that. Okay. Let's pass the turn. And we're going to... I can do a sickness. One. Let's actually see how that works. I need to know how their stats are for this opponent gets to go first, which is total nonsense. Total nonsense. There's no reason they should get to go first. I didn't want to go have that go to a second round. Good. I used sickness to kill some bees. Got four amber. That's great. And let's see. Can I make it down there this turn? Nope. You approach the slavers and see they are a mixed group of different peoples, including orcs, humans, goblins, and even Let's dwarves. have a social fight. And let's begin combat here. I get to go first, which is nice. Get to do two. Alright, now they get to go. And I can't take damage. My guys won't get hurt at all in a social fight. So it's really in my best interest just to play everybody. And, uh, try to win um, through talking like this so there's really no risk to my characters so we'll just see what happens <laughs> sound effects are kind of funny I'm looking pretty good here. <laughs> She's got kind of a deep voice. Alright, we won. Good. 
Your posturing and clear mm. confidence made these slavers very uneasy. They must have had quite a fight beforehand, as you realize they would not have been an easy prey still. Their leader speaks. Fine, you can have half of our cargo and just leave us be. You feel this is a final offer. That's fine with me. I don't want to get into a fight right now and take some damage. I'm on my way to do some cry. The slavers quests. cut off their long chain in the middle of the row of slaves and leave with half of the cargo. You hear some slaves crying out, but most of them are too worn out to protest. You so realize I'm going to take this. Yep, that's kind of cruel and heartless, but, you know, that's, uh, that's the kind of world Thea is. You stumble across some ruins of an old right. city. You search the buildings and discover a... Great. Nice little things. Auto resolve. The night is quiet and calm. Uh, okay, get ready for trouble. You feel the grumbling of the earth and you fear Mokosh's wrath Mokosh. is upon you. But what is this? Feels so you know earthquakes to be the wrath of your earth mother, Mo Those are earthquakes. Those are the giants coming. There is a series of distant thuds and groans, then several short yet violent rhythmic shakes. Then, slowly, the sounds and the tremors move away. Damn it, sounds like some sort of creature. Yes, it does, doesn't it? The giants are coming. They should start showing up pretty soon. Well, rabbits. <laughs> no. Alright, we'll end the turn there. I'm not even going to start the Cosmic Tree quest right now. I'm trying to get over here to the smithy. And you know what? I might do the Icy Princess while I'm here. I probably should have done that last turn. Let's go. You ahead follow the map given to you. Go in. The tower stands ajar. And you take princess. a few steps forward. I've done this, this enough times. I'm not really going to take you through it. Waiting for me to arrive. He designed it so. Um, in short, yet yeah, you see a wraith. She so. is evil. Whether from birth or by her parents' neglect or a curse, who knows and who cares? No, she speaks true. Only she can access any treasures that this tower may hold. But beware, whatever you get from this dark... Yes, clever peasants. Strike down the black swan's head and burn it in a fire. This will release me. I will then open the vault for you. Alright, I think I'm going to choose You strike this down one. the swan's... You leave the tower behind and you. Yeah, that and you was see the a right thick choice. Mist devour it in its white milky Look veil. at all that. You walk a few steps more and find a large chest on the ground before you. The chest contains many treasures, as well as an old grimoire of a witch with much useful knowledge inside. As you walk off, the screams of the boy ring in your ears, and you all find a black feather in your coats. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The Icy Princess is definitely a quest worth doing. As so you approach the place shown by the dwarf, you see a girl sitting on a large rock, frantically looking out into the distance. When she sees you, she runs over without a second thought for her own safety, and speaks with a voice so soft and melodic, you cannot help but listen. You, you look, well, I guess you look like, hmm, you can handle some ruffians, right? Yeah. A dwarven smith. I was on my way home. It's not too far from here, they've, and we thought uh, we were safe. Now there got is no time kids, to chat. Or she we says she's had now, four kids and I would kidnapped help. by Only the orcs. So weak. Go out with the so dwarf. What? She's yes. gonna mark that yes, on I'm... her map and show us where we can find those kids, which is way far away. Okay. Well, no, I was wrong. Not that far. All right. You come across a dead body lying in some sort of ditch. The corpse is literally <laughs> stomped into the ground. Yikes. You search the corpse and find some of its belongings still intact. Now that you take the time to look at the scene, we could you see wait that the for whatever did that, but like I don't think I want to right now. That was a new quest too, obviously, because it deals with the giants. All right. This all is going to happen frequently. As the giants get closer to coming, they're going to trample all over the world. And it shakes the whole world. And so your characters are frequently going to get hurt. Um, 
that's not very fun, but it's part of the lore. So it's kind of a, a group story. of thugs stands in your way, bearing weapons and vile grins on their. Okay, we're in a bit of a disadvantage here because everybody's hurt. Oh, maybe not too bad then. But these are nasty guys. I maybe should have done a social fight instead. We're going to be in some trouble after this. But I don't think I could have won the social fight either. Ouch. Alright, so we've got that one character up front who's really strong. I should have played a counter tactic then. Um, hmm. Let's do that and just be safe. Yikes. Good. Good. Excellent. You Turned beat better the bandits. Than I it would. They scamper away with broken noses and bruised egos. Some will never leave this place. You search their equipment and gather up what remains useful. Wow. That's pretty nice. All right, I'm going to have to camp because I've got these guys pretty banged up. Anything worth gathering around here? movement points have I got left? None. So I can't even camp. Oh wait, I can't camp. I've got nothing to gather, but at least they can heal. So that's what we're going to do. How are things going over here in my town? Okay, the well is finished. That's good. I'll be gaining three random resources every turn. That's three random resources of stuff that I've researched. So, since I haven't researched very much, um, that kind of limits what I can get, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Smithy is next. And we'll see... Oh, somebody's... Did they finish? I think they did. I think they did finish. Well, good. Let's see here. Village overview. Oh, wrong thing. Clicked on the wrong thing. All right, so now I've got two pastures, a well. No, they haven't finished. Okay. All right, we're set. You thought you're sneaking up on the band of orcs, but as you lay there observing, a female voice speaks behind you. So the demoness sent some minions. Oh. I'm surprised that you should serve her kind. Surely okay. you know that Rasalka is a devious temptress always seeking to deceive and bait the living. Children are a favored prey among the demon kind. We've learned this the hard way during the long night. Uh... Real pretty, yeah. long black hair, looks kind of wet all the time. Her voice is all sweet. We knew she well, was a there demon. You have it. Uh, Why? The children Does it make a difference? Got... Or children. You think we kidnapped them, but if they're orcs, then whatever. Um...
We're just curious where hey, Hurlish was from. One is either a very ugly human or a wee goblin. But in any <laughs> case, I ask again, what of it? I'm going to... take... The kids here, um, we'll do a social combat like this. I end up on it gets to go first. And you learn from our last social combat encounter, it just pays to play everybody. So that's just what we're going to do. The bear roar. All right. And we'll see how this goes. We should win pretty easily. <laughs> That's round one. Now, one of my characters is going to get knocked out of this here, but I don't think that's going to cause any real problems. All right, we won. I suppose it may be better for those little ones to live among other softies. My clan is hardened and always on the move. It would not be an easy life for them. Here, take them. But if I ever hear harm came to them, I swear on my honor, you will be punished. Also, I'll give you some red ribbon. It wards off many demons, and the one you met is particularly scared of it. So take it to keep the little ones safe. With these words, the orc female saluted you and stepped back into the shadows, while her men brought forth four children and some red string. One thing I like about this game is that the orcs are not just sword fodder. They actually have their own agendas and interests, too. So, that's pretty cool. Um... I think we're probably healed up enough we can head back to the smithy or the smithy quest anyway Whew, nobody got hurt the that night time. was restless filled with uneasy dreams and strange sounds oh, okay as well as about this poison yay rose, poison well <laughs> without water uh, over there I hate that all right Let's go talk to the Rusalka next turn. The skies darken and a sudden heavy hailstorm descends upon you. The hailstorm, the hail is so large and you manage to patch up the roof in time so that very little okay. food was damaged and your people. All right. Here we go. As you approach the place shown by the dwarf, you see a girl sitting on a lap. Yeah, the Rosalka smiles at you, and I for a moment, children, all you feel like doing is worrying about them. I am not Baba Yaga, uh, nor the Lady no, Midday. The Rosalka looks at you them. with anger. Her eyes begin to turn red, and her skin whiter. And but then she spots say, the yeah, red we'll string and shrieks. The, the Rosalka dwarf. looks at you stunned, and for a few seconds, you see no comprehension on her face. And then she finally nods and speaks. Her voice is sweet and innocent once more. The dwarf, yes, of course. You give him the red ribbons okay. and tell him to burn it in his furnace, and that on the next day I will come. I swear this by my soul. Here, have a lock of my hair to seal the bargain. You feel a strong conviction in her voice, but who knows? We'll accept the deal. So we're going to keep the kids, and like, if you look in the inventory, I've got five kids in there now, which is great. But, um... You know, I need to get them back to the village so they'll be safe. All right. Well, we'll see how this quest ends up in the next episode. I'd like to thank you for watching. This has been Troy Kostasik for Exploraminate. Take care, everyone.